episode 2, chapter 2 of Jan Jiska. Jiska? I'm probably still saying it wrong. Uh, Courage and Coin is the cult. We completed the One-Eyed wonder, Wanderer uh, in the past. Did I say the One-Eyed Wanderer before? Probably I did. One-Eyed wand Wanderer. Either way, Courage and Coin, coming up. Let's go. Just as all hope fades, an angel swoops in to deliver the desperate from the abyss. Such is the way of things. Jan Sokol, my patron and benefactor, is now also my savior. The generous man who backed my expeditions exhorted King Wenceslaus, now restored to the throne, to demand that I be spared from a horrific death. After securing my release, Sokol bestowed yet another honor upon me and made me an officer in his army of swords. Now I march at the head of that force. But for now, our sights are not set on Bohemia. To the northeast, a savage conflict has erupted between two age-old enemies. The Teutonic Order, a fanatical brotherhood of Crusader Knights, wages war upon the growing Kingdom of Poland. King Władysław Jagiełło of Poland, still known as Jogaila by his Lithuanian relatives, has taken the initiative and struck deep into Teutonic territory. Jogaila. Knowing that his Polish and Lithuanian army is not enough to achieve his ambitions, he has enlisted our famed company of Bohemian mercenaries. We are among the best swords in Europe, but the Teutonic Knights and their Crusader allies are a formidable match. On the plains near Grunwald, courage will yield coin, or else a glorious death. How many lives were wasted in war in the past and today? Madness. Vladislav II Yagello. Yagello. Must survive. Damn it. <laughs> we have a survive mission. Beat the Teutonic Order, which is grey. Kill the three Teutonic commanders. Ulrich von Jungingen, Friedrich von Wallenrode, and Kuno von Liechtenstein. Jan Schiska and Jan Sokol begin in the Imperial Age and can support a population of 150. Prudent rationing of supplies means that gathered resources will last significantly longer than usual. Castles and stone walls cannot be constructed in this mission. Your army has gathered to do battle, not to erect fortifications. You laughed at the word erect. Shame. Strike a balance between holding the center and supporting your allies on the flanks. If either are routed, victory will become much harder to achieve. Bohemian spear units do additional damage, bonus damage to cavalry. Use this advantage against the heavy mounted forces of your adversaries. The scouts report Jan Zyska and Jan Sokol's mercenary army is arrayed on the plains near Grunwald, in the center of the Polish force. Immediately in front of the command post of King Vladislav II Jagiello. The Polish army has lined up on the left flank to the south. Its forces are comprised of heavy cavalry and infantry units. The Lithuanian army is deployed on the right flank to the east. Its ranks are filled with cavalry, pikemen and skirmishers. The Teutonic Order camps across the field to the west and northwest. Its dread armies are composed of heavy cavalry, infantry, crossbowmen and cannons. The Order's crusader allies have taken up position in north opposite the Lithuanians. They bring heavy cavalry and infantry to the battlefield. Enemy morale hinges on the welfare of its commanders. It will plummet should they fall. Sounds good. One second, let me turn down the heating a little bit. Apologies. So, let's see. We will secure your center against Teutonic attacks, your highness. Jishka, prepare the troops, for it shall be on this bright day that the bold men of Bohemia prove their worth. Our Grandmaster Ulrich sends you these two swords, so that you might find your courage and not delay the clash any longer. If you lack space to deploy your ranks, we shall be glad 
to see you, sir. We accept your swords and end as an omen of victory. For the powers in whose name we fight do not look favorably upon the prideful and arrogant. This is a day for battle, not prayer. Right you are, Vitotus. Take your Lithuanian forces and draw out the enemy flank. Forward, men! Lietuva! The Lithuanian rabble is attacking. Christ is their standing. Vitotus retreats to bait the enemy out of line. Hit them now, Zavisha! Bogorajitsa! Pues... Um, I feel like I'm being thrown into battle here. Wait, so what's the... Um, situation like? So is this the same fight we had? That we played the, the other time, or what? I see some of you guys saying that. Or it's supposed to be like the same fight. I'm not sure where. Wait, so... Yagelu must survive. Yeah, but he's not in my control. Yes, it is the same, but in a different way. Gotcha. Defeat the Teutonic Order. Great. And we have to kill three commanders. Ulrich. Uno. Okay, they're... This guy is protected by castle. That seems more powerful than I'm ready to engage right now. Set up an economy. It's quite peaceful all of a sudden. Ugh. Am I too far out on the map? Possibly. Oh, yeah. why did I go out there? I should probably make units. Let's go some hand cannoners. Um, let's get some more of those. They're attacking me already. Wait, what? Yo. Uh, Jan, you have to be a bait. Pull the armies away. Uh, I don't like this. Should have maybe made units. How was I supposed to know I was gonna get attacked, right? It's not. It's not my fault. Let's make some more barracks. We're fine, Jan is fine, everyone is fine. I wanted time, so my argument for not making the units already is because I wanted time to see what exactly I wanted to make. You know? But they kind of just jumped on me. Actually, we're fine. It's not, not as rough as it, as it may have appeared uh, initially. Now we're kind of fine. I think. Uh, we need a university. We taught us the great threat strategist. Useless. We're here to fight, not construct fortifications. That's the first thing they said. You guys and your nitty-gritty details. Okay, um... I'm gonna go with Vitatus initially. Not sure why I'm taking stone, I cannot build castles anyway. Uh, I assume... I can make bomber cannons. So that's what I'm gonna do. Or attempt to do at least. Still wondering what's the why is an objective that he must survive. He's not even like near the front line in any way, shape or form.
We can do hoofness. You have got my attention, campaign. You have got my attention. I need some food before I can upgrade it. But I'm excited. I need some wood so I can produce some as well. We'll need a we'll need a mill or two to just you know get that up and running. Okay, there's fighting going on on the right. Let's go and help it out. It thought this doesn't need help. Who am I kidding? I mean, the commander isn't far away. If I just get 3d4 bomb mechanics, we can start. We can start killing. Pretty much. Look at that bonus damage. Hoofness is so expensive. But hallelujah, is it worth it? Uh, I wonder if we get anything from taking out the trade workshops. I would imagine probably not, but you never know. Those who are somewhat new to the unit, like you obviously, if you pl have played as vampires for a while, you will know the bomber cannon. It's a long range siege weapon, strong against buildings and units. Um, Hoofness is. Bohemians are the only civilization that have Hoofness, which is a upgrade to the bomber cannons. And it's a really strong upgrade, it just makes them so much stronger. So uh, you will see soon. Oh, don't do that. That will be friendly fire. How strong they can become. The upgrade is almost done. There we go. So they have uh, more, 15 more attack. They have more armor as well. More HP. I think. But the amount of damage they do to buildings is just insane compared to uh, a regular bomb can. Oh. Yeah, I didn't. Should have anticipated that I might get attacked. Where's Jan Jiska, by the way? Okay. This is fine. Save them. Wait, are they actually baiting all the units to me? Vitatus and his master strategy again. Never ceases to amaze. Oh, you know what? I don't mind losing my units. I just cannot lose these. They take forever to build. Fine losing everything except my hoofness. Oh, I do not like this. We're being chased by... Yo, Vitatus, help! Ah, we lost one! <laughs> so repairing new ones in the back. It, it's fine. Right. Just hide them away for now. We will work our way towards... The, uh, Friedrich. I guess you could also just dive in and kill him, because they said like the troops kind of fall apart when their leader dies. So I guess in theory you could also just dive in and snipe the main guy. 
This. Oh no, don't show yourself. I'm being killed by a ram. What a joke. Help, help. <laughs> We're actually building the barracks in the front. This is not part of the plan. Uh, I'm so much friendly fire. Uh, did not sign up for this. I don't like that they have units. I have to make more economy. I thought I could stop around this and just build up units, but turns out I actually I'm actually gonna need more military units. I'm gonna need more economy. I'm losing every. What? I don't want Red to help because that would make it likely for me to lose the mission. Because one of them is they're supposed to uh, uh, survive, right? The hero. Don't kill that, please. I think I'm actually struggling with the economy here. I thought I would have enough to kill this. Maybe this is a thing where you should dive for the hero. Because they'll be making units non-stop otherwise. I'm never getting to the proper snowball. Or maybe I did now? We have reached population limit pretty much. Red keeps sending, uh, Grey keeps sending units to support, which is what has made us not break it so far. Yo, we taught us. Let's go. They are not listening. Not sure what they're engaging upon. I feel like we should be able to break this with what we have here now. I think I triggered an attack. Pretty decent dam damage output on these bad boys. This blue is doing a good job. Alright. Fredrich. I'm coming for you. I assume he will move away, yep. Can you add monks? I can, but it doesn't make sense to 
bad monks. First of all, he's Teutons. Secondly, I don't need healing, I need military. Okay. I just unlocked an achievement. R Rhapsody of the Bohemians. Yes. Our enemies are not invincible. Pour forth in numbers and drive them to the brink. Yes. Yeah, we have a population. We're locked uh, to 150 population, for those wondering why. I'm not building more houses. It's uh, locked by the campaign. Oh, young Ziska is down here. Zishka. Yeah, we have reached, we have 10 bomber cannons, or uh, things, hoofnies. Prepare to taste my bitter wrath and that of God. That's supposed to mean. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but okay. Yeah, they should make the Teutonic... Like, they should make the Cavalier or Paladin of Teutons have the same stats. But they should make them skinned. So they have the Crusader skin. I think that will be a really nice touch. Let's make some of those. Okay, it looks like those are on offensive stance. Blue keeps sending straggle, straggler units here and there. Uh, I feel like we have reached the uh, snowball numbers we needed. Oh, no, please. Okay. Wait, Crenellation's castle, 13 range. They actually have the same range as our bomber cannons. I need to put units in front, else the castle can actually shoot them. Wasting so many cannons for free. Okay, Cass is almost down though, so we can go for Ulrich. Hey, we taught us. Fools to the fellow earth. A calamitous day. Know it. Ventilation's OP indeed. Guess I lost all the bills building the towers. Okay, yeah, there's just one leader left. Should be easy cleanup from here. Wait, do we have fully upgraded our blast? No, we don't have thumb ring, okay. Fair. Guess behind is just economy. Yeah. Makes sense. Can't really engage. Well, he's engaging, obviously, but... Yeah, we have too much. Too much! Go for a double kill. Can we one shot these archer rangers? Nice. Okay, 
The Hoofnies are beasts. I tell ya. Oof, nice. Okay, another 13 range, so let's just put everything in front. Every infantry at least. What's wrong with their pathing here? Yeah, we just we just have to kill Kuno there. I'm shooting a fortified wall behind the castle instead of the castle. Makes sense. Let's go, Kuno. Time to go. of God, we have triumphed on the field of battle today. Gaude Mater Polonia! Gaude Mater! Gaude Mater! Our victory was terrible, but great. For decades, travelers will be stunned by the graveyard left by this clash of arms, the greatest in living memory. With the Teutonic army crushed, we lost no time in pressing our advantage. The castle of Rodzinia quickly fell to our forces. But this triumph came at a tragic cost. My patron, Jan Sokol, who had become almost like a second father to me, perished what? of poison. A base fate unworthy of such a marvelous leader. A joyous affair it was for the Polish king and his allies, but for us, it was a melancholy end. We now march home to our beloved Bohemia, pockets lined with coin, but hearts bitter with the sorrow of loss. As uh, someone asked why I didn't show the battle, it's because we were entering the phase where we were about to win the campaign, meaning we were about to have voice lines, and if I'm in the battle, at the same time as we have voice lines, we cannot hear anything. That's why I moved the screen away. The battle was open, kind of, or was done anyway. So there isn't really anything to see at that point. And then I prefer to have a more clean audio come through. Because, believe it or not, there is still no way to differentiate game volume from dialogue volume. So yeah. We taught us. Thank you for your service. Yeah, they just had Townsend as an economy in the back. Which they probably don't use anyway. They probably have the resources they are supposed to have. Give it two years and they will patch it. Maybe. We can hope. Oh, isn't that hoof nice or what? Yes. <clears throat> oh, so close. You have a double hoof nice. Nice. That was the uh, Courage and Coin of the Jan Zyska campaign. Coming up next will be the the Iron Lords. Which is the third chapter of the Jan Zyska campaign. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.